Hey Elonites, welcome to the Tesla space, where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk. It's news day today, and we are very excited this week about Tesla's big battery day announcement and all the wicked new tech that we are hoping to see unveiled. So excited, in fact, that we are also going to be doing a live stream of the event tomorrow, starting about an hour before they go live. So if you're interested, be sure to tune in and watch along with us. But with that being said, let's get into the news. Tomorrow is battery day, and is this going to be Tesla's biggest announcement in years? It's definitely looking like it. On Tuesday, September 22nd, Tesla Motors and CEO Elon Musk will be making their biggest announcement of the year, possibly even one of their biggest announcements ever at an event they are calling Battery Day. The last time that Tesla made a large-scale technology announcement like this was in April 2019 at Autonomy Day, where Elon presented their work on full self-driving technology, autonomous vehicles, and robot taxis. This year's big event will be centered around batteries, obviously. But what is the big deal about batteries? Well, of course we know that Tesla vehicles get their power from a massive panel of battery cells that live under the car's floor. What some people might not know is that the battery is the sticking point that is preventing us from seeing an electric vehicle revolution that would make gasoline a thing of the past. The batteries that power Tesla cars are very expensive. They are difficult and time consuming to make and the mineral elements that are needed to make them are very rare and hard to obtain. The pursuit of those minerals, namely lithium and cobalt, may have even led to a coup against the Bolivian government and some form of child slavery in Africa, but that's a whole other topic. Anyway, the point is that the way we have been making electric vehicle batteries is not very sustainable and it will never be cheap to do. And somebody has got to fix that. And well, what's new? Elon might be the guy for the job. We are expecting Tesla to announce on battery day that they have started to implement a new process to make batteries for their cars that is much faster and more efficient than ever before, which would in turn make batteries cheaper than ever before. And Tesla would be doing all of this manufacturing in-house with a system that has been referred to as Roadrunner. You know, like the cartoon, he's really fast. Do kids still watch that? No? Okay, we're getting old. This Roadrunner production line would further strengthen Tesla's vertical integration business model and also set them up to be a battery supplier to other EV brands and that would bolster their profitability and value as a company. We also believe that they may be introducing a new battery chemistry that does not rely on cobalt to function. This too would mean a more efficient manufacturing process and therefore a cheaper battery. This is probably a good time to mention that we here at the Tesla space are not scientists. We're barely even what you might consider smart. So do not look to us for technical explanations on why or how this stuff works, and we won't try and explain it either. Now, the practical applications of all this are luckily pretty simple. By upgrading their battery tech, new Tesla vehicles will gain longer ranges on a single charge. They'll be able to charge more rapidly at supercharging stations, the overall price tag for the car should come down, and very importantly, the lifespan of the vehicle could be greatly improved. The idea of a million mile battery has been floating around Tesla for a while now. Teslas use the same kind of battery that's in your cell phone. And you know how after a couple of years of owning a phone, the battery starts to fade. It doesn't charge properly anymore, the charge doesn't last as long, well, the same thing will eventually happen to a Tesla car. It just takes longer because they have a ton more battery volume than your iPhone. But after about 300 to 500,000 miles, the car batteries are going to be finished and it wouldn't be cost effective to have them replaced, which is not bad. Most normal cars don't make it past that number of miles before ending up in the junkyard anyways. But the million mile battery would do basically exactly what it says. Let the car run for a million miles before it has to be scrapped. With that technology, we would have cars that would run great for 10, 20, even 30 years or more with very limited maintenance required. You would be replacing brakes, tires, and suspension components, but that's about it. When we are looking at vehicles from a cost of ownership perspective, this is a huge step in the right direction. 
Now, there are a host of other intricate details that we are not covering, as well as benefits from the improvements Tesla is going to be making with regards to battery technology and battery manufacturing. But the most important factor here for everything is the cost. As you guys know, Tesla is leading the electric revolution, and the goal is to get a Tesla or an electric vehicle in every driveway across the world. And one of the biggest issues that Tesla is dealing with is lowering the cost of their cars. And the biggest expense for their cars is the battery. So if they're able to lower their cost of producing these batteries, they can also lower the cost to the consumer of purchasing the car and thus make it more available to everybody. So that really is why battery day is so, so important. But one more thing, all of this battery stuff is really neat, but let's be honest, it's far from the most exciting news to hear. So we're also hoping that Elon throws us a bone and announces a new car model for us to lust over. And we think that might just be the Model S Plaid Edition. This would be the same old Model S body that we've been seeing for the past eight years, but with a major boost in power over the current performance model. The Plaid system uses three electric motors two in the rear and one in the front to provide greater power and more precise torque vectoring at the wheels. This is the engine system that Tesla will be using in their upcoming Roadster Mark II, which we probably won't see until 2022 or even 2023. But we are really hoping that Tesla starts throwing its powertrain into some existing models just to see what it can do. The Roadster is claimed to have a 0 to 60 time of just 1.9 seconds. So, we are talking about a massive, insane, straight up irresponsible amount of power here. And I don't know about you guys, but that sounds so cool to me. Especially now that the Porsche Taycan Turbo S electric vehicle has hit the streets and in multiple tests, the Porsche has been able to easily beat the Tesla in a drag race. But a Model S equipped with Plaid Power would hopefully be able to clap back and smoke the Taycan. Finally, in things not to do with your Tesla, a Tesla driver up here in Canada was caught sleeping behind the wheel as his car hurtled down the highway well above the speed limit while being controlled by autopilot. The driver in Alberta was criminally charged by the RCMP, that's the Royal Canadian Mounted Police for all you who don't live in the Great White North. Yes, they ride horses. No, they don't do it while policing. They have cars. The cops charged the Tesla owner with speeding for traveling at 140 kilometers per hour. That's 87 miles an hour, again, for all you non-Canadians. And also charged him with dangerous driving for fully reclining his car seat and taking a nap while the car's autopilot system guided the car along the road. While it can technically drive autonomously on highways without a driver's interventions, Tesla asks drivers to keep their hands on the wheel and to pay attention at all times. Tesla also requires driver input during autopilot by having them touch the steering wheel. Of course, there are a few hacks out there to get around this driver input requirement, and we totally will not be talking about any of those on this channel. But we can assume the Canadian Tesla driver in question was using one of those cheats to have his nap. Again, for the people in the back, this is stupid. Do not do this. But that's it for news this week, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Here's hoping that Battery Day brings us some more exciting things to talk about in the near future. We are also going to be doing a live stream of the Battery Day event on Tuesday, so be sure to tune in. We'll start up about an hour before the event goes live. Let us know in the comments here, how do you think Tesla's new battery tech will affect the EV market? And make sure to give the video a thumbs up today if you liked it. We really appreciate your support. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.